In this presentation, we will do a quick tour demo of the document management of Constellio. So, uh, to start, uh, we will start by uh, creating folders in Constellio. So, to create folders, you can go on the right and add folder. All the information that you see here, all the metadata that you see here is customizable. So we can customize the form, we can customize the fields, we can decide if the metadata is mandatory or not. Uh, so I will have another uh, video that explains how to manage metadata in Constellio. So demo folder. Two. <coughs> then I have to link my folder to the file plan. I have two options. The first one is to navigate in the file plan and to select the category that I want or I can search the file plan. So I have a full text search that search the, the title of the file plan, the description of the file plan, the keywords. Uh, so basically if I'm looking for example from for human resources, I only have to uh, write it and constantly recommend me what will be the best category for me. Or I will use for example the demo level 3 category then I can save uh, all the other metadata are not mandatory so I can save my folder you have different tabs uh, on the top uh, we are by default in the content tab so here we will view all the files that are in this uh, folder and uh, you have the metadata tab so in this uh, tab you will see all I only filled two metadata but Constellio has uh, automatically filled some metadata for me. For example, this is an active folder. This is a principal copy. The retention rule has been automatically filled also. I have all the disposition and the life cycle, all the dates. So exactly, Constellio, Constellio know exactly what to do with those folders, with, those fold, with, with this folder. Then I have the content. So I can add documents uh, to, uh, to my folder only by dragging, by dragging and dropping uh, those documents in uh, in this folder so basically I can select this this document and drag it in Constellio as you can see here Constellio manage duplicates so Constellio find that there is a duplicates uh, in uh, in this folder however I can decide to keep it so I will keep it and Constellio do automatically the duplication which means that Constellio will only save one copy the document will be available in two folders. However, Constellio will only save one copy in the database. So I can, when I click on it, I have different options. I can uh, check out the document for editing. I can open it and I can view also the metadata of this, uh, of this document. So uh, we can see here the metadata and we have also the ability to do automatic metadata extraction. So we can automatically extract some metadata from uh, from uh, this document. On the right, so you have a viewer. Um, so the viewer can you can view different document types, images, uh, Microsoft Office documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Open Office document, and so on. On the right, we have some options that you can use. The first thing that I will do in this demo is to uh, show you how you can modify this document online. The good thing with Constellio is you can modify any documents online. Uh, so basically you can modify uh, PDF documents, you can modify open office document. Uh, in this case this is an open office document and we don't need any integration with that. So basically we have what we call um, uh, local uh, desktop installation. Uh, the software name is, uh, Const is uh, Constellio Agent. So you have desktop installation and this installation, this software will allow you to do editing uh, online editing. So let's start. I will check out this document. So the document, no one can now modify this document. I'm, I will be only the person who can uh, modify it. And when I click on it, Open Office started. <coughs> and now I'm able to uh, modify this document. I don't need any integration, any integration in Open Office or in Microsoft Office. Uh, no need for any plugin installation and so on. So basically what I will do is I will modify this document, then I will save it. When I save the document, I will just uh, go back and uh, refresh and you will see that now I, I am in the version 1.1. Okay. So 
what I can do now, I will check in again this document and I can decide if it is minor, minor version or major version. Minor version which means 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 and major means 1, 2, 3. So I will decide to uh, create a major version, version of this document. So I will save, then I will re refresh just to go back and then view the document again. So you can see the modification that I have done. And you will see also that I am in the version 2.0 and I can view also the, the version history. So I'm able to view uh, all the versions and I can, uh, I'm able to restore any version uh, from, uh, from this version. If I want to create a, a subfolder, I can go here, add folder, and Constellio will see that we are in the demo folder too. So just creating sub folder, save, and then Constellio, if I go to folder two, I will have my subfolder here. So no need for selecting. If I am in the, in the on the right place, Constellio will create it on the right place. We will do uh, another example of document editing. Let's say that we manage audio, video, uh, basically what we call a digital assets management. And we want to uh, edit and modify our audio, our video um, in Constellio. Uh, so what I will do is I will select, um, I will add an image to Constellio. Then I can go and view my image. I can zoom in, zoom out do the rotation and then I can modify also this image so I am in the version 1.0 so I will do the checkout for uh, editing paint is op open but I can select any software I need for example if I use uh, Photoshop or any other software I can link it to my image and then I can modify my image then I will save I will do a quick check out, check, check in, sorry. Then I will say just for update, to update the, uh, the image. Then you will see that the image has been modified in Constellio. And you will see that we are in the version 2.0. And you have the history, the version history here. Constellio also allow you to create um, physical documents or paper documents. Uh, so basically you can do add documents, then um, paper, then you can save. And if I go to my folder, uh, you will see that I have a physical document also here. Uh, you have the, I am at the folder level. You have different options at the folder level. So you can edit the folder, you can delete the folder, you can duplicate the folder, you can manage authorization. I will talk about authorization in another um, Constellio security uh, in a few minutes. You can share this folder with other person. You can add it to a card. Uh, you can add it to selection. So for example, if I select, you can see here that I can, uh, um, uh, we have zero selection. So if I add to selection, then I can do some actions on this folder, uh, move, duplicate, uh, report, uh, build an SIP file, add to favorite, and so on. We can print labels. So for example, for physical folders, uh, you can decide to print a label. So you can generate a label. And you can view your label. We have different labels and we have also a report generator. So you can customize your label if, uh, if needed. Uh, you can request for borrow and you can borrow also uh, this this folder if it is a physical if it is physical uh, folder for the document now if i go to the document level i can declare this document as a record i can modify metadata i can duplicate documents i can publish this document all the the it's like a dropbox so you can bas basically publish the documents and get a public link that you could share uh, with some people outside the organization. Uh, you can build the PDFA, uh, so it is PDF for archiving. Uh, we generate PDFA 1A. You can share this document, you can add it to the card, you can add to selection, you can upload, you can check out. Uh, 